This is the future of Hyundai's electrified end products. That's what the brand have told us today here in South Korea. We know that next year Hyundai is gonna launch a fully electric Ionic 5N, and I can't wait to drive that. But this is the car that Hyundai says is their mid to long-term future in electric high-performance motoring. This is the N Vision 74. Isn't it stunning? Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the design of this two-door, almost five meter, two meter wide, high-performance supercar. But what's most interesting about this vehicle is how it makes more than 500 kilowatts of power. Not only is it a battery electric vehicle, it's a hybrid with a hydrogen fuel cell electric stack in the car that gives it more than 600 kilometers. Of, and this is the kind of vehicle that Hyundai N tells us they want to be making in five or six years from now. First thing you notice about the N Vision 74 is just how cool it looks and how it kind of looks a bit like a DeLorean. Well, yes, that's because the design of this hybrid supercar is inspired by the Hyundai Pony Coupe concept from 1974. Now, that car didn't enter production, but it was designed by Giorgetto Giugiaro who then used the Pony Coupe design as the basis for the DeLorean. And he also did cars like the BMW M1, so you might see a bit of that in here as well. So if you like your wedge-shaped 70s visions of the future, or perhaps back to the future, you'll probably be into the look of this car. I know I am. In particular, check out the parametric pixel detailing of the M5 CS style amber daytime running lights, the fabulous fan wheels, louvers, and giant scoops on the side to feed cool air to the rear motors and the fuel cell stack. Speaking of, let's talk about how the Envision 74 is such a convenient electric supercar. You don't have to charge this vehicle at an EV charger, you know, for about half an hour or whatever. You fuel it at a hydrogen bowser in five minutes, much like a petrol car and much like Hyundai's Nexo SUV and the Toyota Mirai. There's a fuel cell stack behind the driver's seat that can drive the car by itself. It produces about 85 kilowatts of power, but it's mainly there to charge the 62.4 kilowatt hour battery, which then powers dual rear motors to make over 500 kilowatts of power and over 900 newton meters of torque. Dual rear motors? You bet. This is a dual motor EV, but not with a front motor like we usually hear. Instead, each wheel gets its own motor at the back meaning the 74 should be good for big slides. This rolling lab concept is drivable, and I hope to get a steer. There's a huge focus on cooling here with a new battery layout, a giant heat management brain, and a three channel cooling system. The fuel cell stack can cool the battery, but there's also plenty of active aero and those giant side scoops because hot batteries and motors would mean power would have to be downrated, and Hyundai says it wants this vehicle to be a track weapon. Well, Hyundai N says this is the kind of car they want to be building in the mid to long term, not necessarily just straight battery electric vehicles. There's deep thinking going on here, not just on the awesome looks, but in how driver-friendly sports cars will look in a decade from now. The brand will build full battery electric N cars, starting with next year's Ionic 5N, but clearly they see a future in hydrogen hybrid electric sports cars too. Now, what do you think? Does the hydrogen fueled, electrically driven, rear wheel drive supercar concept move you? Let me know down below in the comments. I wanna hear your thoughts on the Vision 74. to Bilsterberg, probably the scariest racetrack you've never heard of. Built on an old British Army Cold War munitions base that some mad baron decided to turn into a race resort designed by Herman Tilker. Brought you a lot of boring F1 circuits, didn't he? But he really, really got his act together for this place. It's like all the scary bits of the Nürburgring knitted together and it only takes two minutes to get round rather than 10. So, a good place to drive a priceless concept car which they've only got one of drivable in the world.